Hello, reformers, and welcome back to Nova Aegis. Now, when we left off, we had just taken the last of the Saranid fiefs, and as you can see, you just caught me, well, leveling up a couple of our units here. Now, these units are probably going to get swapped out really soon, but I decided, hey, you know what, it's probably best just to upgrade them anyway, and you never know, it may be useful. And I'm making a brief stopover at our tailor. Luckily enough, I was able to find some pretty reasonable amount of crafting materials along the way here, and we have been able to get enough to make, I think, two pieces? Is it two pieces or one piece of, of leather armor? I'm actually unsure about that. I just know that I was doing it very quickly because I don't actually have much time today, which is actually kind of a shame, but yeah, that's probably the reason why this episode will not be as long as usual but yeah that's just how it goes sometimes sometimes I don't have enough time in the day so let's have a look let's have a look here I need to get this yes there we go okay so let's craft that thank you very much keep that there we go okay so that's what we like to see that is wonderful now I can go back to Zendar and we're gonna you know what I'm gonna be doing oh yes you certainly do I am going to be outfitting one of the X-Men with some additional equipment. So yes, hopefully they'll be a little bit more useful and I'm gonna take a look and see what kind of stats they have and everything, but obviously the stats in general I think are kind of bugged. But yeah, there is, there is something to do with a save game editor or something along those lines and you can level up the troops by editing the save game. Obviously, as I said, Previously, I actually don't know how to do that very easily, so that's probably the reason why you won't see me doing that. But maybe at some point there will be something that just pushes me over the edge and I just decide to do it because who wants all your vassals to lose all the time? I mean, that's that's a pretty crippling bug, isn't it? So hopefully that can get fixed in a future patch or update or something like that. But as you can see, we do have... 14 of these guys. Alright, let's take the 14 of those guys then. And they're probably going to be the only ones that we upgrade right now. But mm, let's have a look. What can I actually get? I could get... Wow, I could get that. That's actually pretty insane. I mean, look at it. It's one-handed. And they can use that. They can definitely use that. So I'm going to... How much is that? 38,000? Okay, well, that's easy. That's pretty easy to afford, isn't it? Okay, not bad at all. And I do have a pretty nice shield here, don't I? Don't I have a pretty nice shield to give them? I have an Agonic shield, which is actually not great. The board shield is probably best. So I think I'm probably going to buy that as well. How much is that? Oh, only 1,300. That's pretty reasonable, I suppose. Should we give them bombs? I, I don't even know what their stats are like. So this is this is kind of buying blind, isn't it? It's not very good. Okay, so we have a helm already. It's not very good. I'm actually going to sell this helm, I think. I'm going to sell this helm. I'm going to buy this one for 43000 Okay, fine. I'll buy it for 43000 We're going on a bit of a spending spree here, but I suppose that's that's worth it, isn't it? I mean, surely. Surely it's worth spending a little bit of money to make sure that these units are going to be absolutely amazing. So let's have a look. What kind of stats do you have, sir? Okay, so, yeah, uh, yes, okay, everything is remarkably average. Obviously, they do have 66 health, and, oh yeah, I'm actually wondering, one of the people in the, ah, uh, where was it again? Ah, uh, I can't actually remember where it was, but apparently there is a bit of a tip where you can actually just level them up. I, I, I don't actually know how you can do that. Let me Let me just try real quick and see if this works. All right, so as you can see here, we have a level 21 person. And you can also see that his attributes and skill points and weapon points have advanced as a result of that. So yeah, apparently, w uh, this, is, this is a good fix, actually. This is a very, very simple fix. You don't even need to use the save game editor or anything like that. As far as I'm aware, at least, this will work if it allows me to save the changes. So... Yeah, basically, what I did was I exited the game, and I booted it up. Took a long time to boot up again, but oh well, that's just how it is. And I decided to enable cheat mode. Now, this 
is the level up mechanic, apparently. I have used this in the past to show off, you know, various special features. And, you know, there have, there have been a couple of times when I've lost my entire army and it's been extremely late in a series and I haven't been able to find any bandits or anything to level up a force. If I didn't have trainer skill, of course, then this would be a way to level up some units. But this in particular is actually kind of cool because it offsets the bug rather nicely. And basically this means, hey, you can press... You, well, you can hold, you can hold control, and then you can just press X, okay? So that's, that's the command to do this and to fix the bug. So for this kind of thing, I'm, I'm well on board for fixing a bug that is kind of game-breaking. So let's see if this is actually going to work. So let's, let's take this guy. I'm going to just spam press this now. Let's take this guy to level 25 and see whether he actually keeps those stats. If he doesn't, then that will be a huge shame, but if he does, then this is going to be a really, really nice change. So there you go. He is now level 25. We have an extra five attribute points to spend, and you know what I'm going to be doing. I'm going to be spending it, I think, probably in agility. Am I going to be spending it in agility? Um, I'm actually unsure about that. Maybe some strength. Let's go for some strength, and then we'll just... Shall we, shall we just take, take him to... Let's just take him to 26, shall we? Because I, I, need, I need the 15... <laughs> I need the 15 strength. There we go. Okay, fantastic. So let's go for some... Look at that. Now now I can increase his weapon master a little bit. I can increase his power strike so he hits even harder. I can increase his athletics a little bit. But there you go. You need to be a little bit more selective than I do about, you know, what you're going to be specking into. I'm going to be specking him in one-handed weapons, though, because he is, of course, going to be using that one-handed sword that I just purchased. And can I rename him? Can I rename him? Let's actually see whether I can rename him. Because if I can rename him, this is going to be amazing. So let's have a look here. What, what should we call him? Should we call him a, uh, hmm, let's see here, a Dagnabia Marauder. There we are. Dagnabia Marauder. That sounds like a good plan. I doubt this is actually going to work. So let's have a look. Oh, okay, so the levels did stick. The levels did stick, but his name did not. So he's just going to be X. Obviously, so let's have a look here. Let's see and hope that my work and money does not go to waste. Because if he just runs away with the cash, then obviously that's going to be a bit sad. But yes, I mean, the cash, so to speak, anyway. Because obviously it's not really cash. He's running away with armor and things. But anyway, let's have a look. I think that is it. I don't I don't really want to give him anything else. I mean, that's a really nice weapon anyway. And uh, let's see. Is that is that it? Yep, that is it. Just pay whatever you can. There we are. That will take 77,000. Ouch. Okay, so that's pretty that's pretty harsh, isn't it? Okay, so let's have a look. There you go. There you go. They have exactly the armor that I gave them. They look like absolute beasts. And you can do that to the rest of your units as well. So let's uh, say, for example, I mean my veterans. They've been... They've, been, oh, they've actually been level 20. So level 20 is actually pretty reasonable, but... As you can see, their stats obviously are not correct, so, you know, if you wanted to change your stats, you could just level these guys up a little bit. So let's, let's level these guys up to, uh, let, let's say 23. We don't want them to be too high a level or anything, but let's say 23, just so that I can get 15 in strength and additional points in a power strike. That sounds good to me. And obviously, they do have better weapon proficiencies, so if you wanted to level up their proficiencies as well, I think that would be okay. I mean, there, there is actually a way to do that. I have done this in special features as well. And I am looking kind of at the wiki at the moment about all the commands and everything because, you know, sometimes I forget these things. So let's have a look and see whether this actually works. If this works, then this is going to be extremely good for fixing the bug. So Control and W. Control and W, as you can see by the reset changes, is not working. As you can see, I am actually pressing it. It is flashing there, but unfortunately it doesn't seem to be working. Now, what that does, according to the wiki and my previous experience, it improves your weapon proficiencies by one or by an, a certain number every time you press it. It only works for your character, though, apparently, which is kind of a shame. So, but there you go. We now have a fix, I suppose. We now have a fix for our problem, and as you can see, these Svenmas, who are our most advanced unit, are only level 8, so I'm going to level them up a bit. Let's let's get them up, you know, let's get them to about 20 or so, because, well, let's face it, they are 
some of the best units we have. And I feel like it is a bit of a travesty to make it so that they are level 8. So there you go. Now they are much higher level. Let's get them there. Let's get 21 strength and let's get a little bit more in agility. And we'll go for some more power strike here. And I think we'll go for some more weapon master as well. And athletics they're definitely going to need. But there you go. There's, there's a little bit of a, a rough estimate of what we're doing. And they're obviously using two-handed weapons. So we're just going to level up their two-handed weapon proficiency a little bit as well. Obviously I'm not going to cheat too much. Because technically this is actually just modifying the, the files and everything. So I hope you've taken note about this. Because if you are also playing Nova Etus and you have been struck by this bug, then obviously that would be kind of useful. Well, what can I say about that? I'm extremely happy to find out that there is a fix for that particular problem. Because I was thinking to myself, oh, I'm going to have to go into the... Uh, yeah, go into the game files and that's always, uh, you know, going to the save game editor or something eventually because usually I, that kind of thing kind of daunts me a bit, so I kind of put it off for the most part. But anyway, we are now probably going to be taking our newfound might against the Turgon Horde. And I'm actually kind of surprised. Wait a minute, let's just have a look here real quick. Yeah, the Huskars are level 25, so that's actually pretty nice, but most of our forces you know, technically do not have that. I'm actually wondering, does this only carry over to our own units or does it carry over to everyone's units? I very much hope that it carries over to our vassals units as well. So yeah, I think the heavy infantry are gonna be the last ones I actually level up a little bit here. I'm gonna level them to 20. I think m most of the units can basically be 20. I mean, it doesn't really make much difference to be honest because as you can see, the strength is just kind of absorbed and I'm just gonna go for a little bit more in power strike and some more in athletics they are absolutely terrible in athletics they're gonna be moving extremely slowly even at two athletics so well every little bit helps I suppose otherwise I'm gonna restart my game real quick and then we're gonna be in Turgon Horde territory all right so as you can see here we are defending against some turgon horde vassal that decided that it would be a good idea for him to attack durin castle and we're not particularly happy about this as you can see it's actually nighttime i'm not very pleased about that either because nighttime for me is well pitch black basically so yes if you can't see that then i i'm terribly sorry but that's just how it is i don't know why that why are the rocks so dark why are the rocks so dark here I mean, it makes it seem a lot darker than it maybe actually is. But anyway, let's let's come on. Uh, there, there we go. Oh, very nice, Diggory. Good work. And uh, yes, I, uh, I I I told Diggory about the comments in the previous video. And yes, he's he's very very happy to see that a lot of people are proud of him because he's he's always he's constantly getting questioned about his leadership. You know, and not the skill, not the skill. He's constantly getting questioned. He's always. His men are just saying, oh, Diggory, mm, yes, you're, um, yes, you're not very mm, good and things. Yeah, so he's he's very, very pleased to see that many of you are behind him and supportive of him. And that's absolutely fantastic. He's very, very appreciative of that. Otherwise, uh, come on, let's see if I can get another. Uh, 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 yes, no, never mind. Can't get another shot off, unfortunately. But... We're going to see if we can... I think this is going to be an extremely easy defense, actually, because I think Durin Castle has a huge garrison. I actually didn't see how many there were, but we have... Wait a minute. I don't think it actually does, because... Did you see that? It was like 290 or 260 or something? I don't even know, but it was quite a few enemy units against 209 of ours, and I only have 195 or something, so it must be that I literally just got there just in time before the Turgon vassal was able to take this, which is actually kind of sad because I wouldn't have had to f fight these guys if I had allowed them to win, basically. So, uh, yeah, maybe probably not a, not a very good idea for me to, you know, actually head in here and defend. I was just panicked because I was, I was just like, oh, there seems to be someone taking that. Yeah, we can't allow that to happen. And here's our X-Man right here. Let's see if he's actually any good. I haven't actually seen any of the X's. Oh, there we go. Yes, fantastic. One of the X's has actually killed something. One of many, I hope. Anyway, I think what I'm going to do here is I'm actually just going to... I don't know, I'm actually just going to do this off screen, I think, because the siege itself is actually kind of... I mean, it's, it's kind of just stagnant right here, because even though I might be able to sort of 
you know, get a couple of kills with the musket or something, it's going to take a long time to kill all of these enemies. Unless I jump out there. Do I want to jump out here? Maybe. They're going to have throwing weapons, though, which is going to be kind of a... Oh, yes, yes, they do have throwing weapons. Okay, so I think I'm, I'm just going to cut away here and, uh, yeah, see what happens. All right, well, I, I kind of got bored, okay? I kind of got bored, and I was just like, yep, yep, we're going to go out here. I got bored because I don't want to wait for my units to kill everything. I want to be part of the action, and that's exactly the reason why I really, really enjoy, you know, actually going in and attacking things because yeah okay it may not be the smart thing to do and certainly isn't especially when you're up against such an overwhelming force like we are here but what fun is that what fun is that when you play mountain blade or any spectacle fighting game or any third person action game or anything like that you want to be part of the action because if you're not then it's kind of just like okay you're just sitting back and letting your units do the work and while that might be perfectly fine I'm not perfectly fine with that, you know. I'm, I, I actually prefer to fight a little bit, so even if I die here, I don't really mind because we're going to have taken out so many that hopefully the enemy is then going to be like, oh no, I can't possibly fight Diggory, and it's going to be an, a fantastic end to at least us finding out a, a bit of a fix for that bug and everything. So yeah, hopefully that will be fixed in future updates as well. So let's see if I can do some now more focus. Here we are. Fantastic. Yeah, there we go. That's what I like to see. Okay, come on now. Can I get some more? Can I get some more killing? Can I get some more bloodying? Yes, that's what we like to see. Come on, Diggory. There we are. Well, wow. these guys actually do no damage. It's because we're wearing such good armor that they do no damage. But obviously, I, they, they are actually dealing some damage. Do bear that in mind. But obviously, I was talking about this in my most recent Clash of Kings episode where I said that Novaritas gave me bad habits. And that's very true. It, I think it does, because it gives you so many cool abilities to use, and so much, shall we say, functionality and utility. I mean, look at that. Look at that. I just healed myself for basically almost full HP, and that is on a 60-second cooldown. And if you have good, good enough armor, then you can basically be, you know, absolutely fine and healthy in the knowledge that you will probably be able to heal yourself again in another 60 seconds without dying, you know? So, you know, you can basically stay alive forever, and that's exactly the reason why in Clash of Kings, maybe I'm a little bit too aggressive because, you know, I like to have fun, as I said. I like to have fun, and, well, you know, Novaritas allows you to actually head in because you do have those abilities to kind of supplement your lack of survival skills. In my case, lack of, well, survival skills. <laughs> so, yeah, that's, that's probably going to make a good difference. Anyway, let's have a look here. We did take out all 203 of them. Very nice. I think there's actually 40 here, because I think there was 230 or something along those lines in our defense. So I think that's really nice. Anyway, we're going to see what happens. Are we going to be able to take him? No. Okay. So here we are. We're ready to take back Amarad. Now I know that I said I would maybe take this off screen, but again, I have kind of limited time anyway. So we are going to take this back and hopefully we'll be able to do just that. Obviously, I do have the new units. Hopefully our X-Men are going to be actually showing us their powers. <laughs> yeah, more references. And... Hopefully we're going to have increased regenerative powers and adamantium skeletons and all kinds of, yes, all kinds of Wolverine references as well. Anyway, let's see if I can get some nice damage going on here. Come on now, fear some cry, fear some cry, get out of here, C come on, get out of there, thank you very much. Okay, so there is a slight problem, okay, so now I have to report that Sar Theodore is kind of rampaging through our lands right now and kind of taking everything in sight. So there is that to worry about, but otherwise everything's fine. Everything's absolutely peachy. So <laughs> that's kind of a big deal though, because he has, as far as I'm aware, 372 units in his army. And that is very scary indeed, because as you know, Vagias have extremely good archers and I don't really want to be fighting them. 
don't really want to be fighting them because we don't have a huge amount of cavalry. Maybe I'm going to have to upgrade our cavalry or maybe just recruit a couple more or something like that. And then we'll see how that goes. Maybe what I could do is actually just... Yeah, I could... Yeah, that actually would help because some of our cavalry way back were actually, I think, level 8. So I think leveling them up would make a great deal of difference. So I think that is it for Amurad. Yep, that is absolutely it for Amurad. Very, very easy to take. And... I think that's actually going to be it for this siege. And come on, shields up, Diggory. Shields up. There we are. Thank you very much. And yeah, then I think we're probably going to go and just take the rest of the Turgon Horde fiefs. And just we're just going to probably allow the Tsar to run around a little bit. Because right now, he's, he's not really... I mean, yeah, he's taking, he's taking fiefs. But I'm able to take them back relatively quickly anyway. So I thank you very much for watching as we do get to take quite a few... Ah, oh, quite a few rescued, well, quite a few rescued prisoners, and uh, then I sort my spaces. I barely have any space, so that's kind of a shame. But anyway, I thank you very much for watching, and I will see you next time.